Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about Dennis Weber classification of ankle fractures on x-ray. Dennis Weber classification is a system used to categorize ankle fractures, particularly the fibular fractures, based on the level of the fracture in relation to the syndesmosis which is the joint where the tibia and fibula meet at the ankle. This classification helps in determining the stability of the fracture and the appropriate treatment approach. It includes three main types of fractures, Weber A, B, and C. We will compare the normal ankle x-ray image with Weber fractures on the left side is a normal anterior posterior x-ray view of the ankle. This thin long bone is the fibula and this thicker long bone is the tibia. This is the syndesmosis, this inferior tibiofibular joint. This point is important. This bony prominence located at the distal end of the tibia is the medial malleolus. It is the medial boundary of the ankle joint. This bony prominence over here at the lower end of the fibula is the lateral malleolus. This bone is the talus. It articulates with the tibia and fibula and forms the ankle joint. This image shows a Dennis Weber type A fracture. There is a transverse fracture in the fibula at the lateral malleolus. The fracture is located below the level of the tibiofibular syndesmosis. The syndesmosis is not damaged. This is a mortise view of the left ankle. This view is more focused at the ankle joint space. This is the inferior tibiofibular joint. Over here is a fracture of the fibula. This fracture is below the level of the tibiofibular joint space. So it is a Weber type A fracture. Here is another case of Weber A fracture of the fibula. It is a displaced transverse fracture. Below the level of the tibiofibular joint, the tibiofibular syndesmosis is intact. A Dennis Weber type B fracture occurs at the level of the syndesmosis and it usually consists of a spiral fracture of the fibula. This is the fracture. It is at the same level of the syndesmosis. Here is another case of Weber B fracture. This fracture occurred in the fibula at the level of the syndesmosis. This is another case of a Weber B fracture. It occurred at the level of the syndesmosis in the fibula. This injury is more severe as there is displacement of the talus as well. This suggests deltoid ligament tears and injuries as well. We can also see a widened medial clear space. Weber type C fractures occur above the level of the tibiofibular syndesmosis. This fracture is above this joint. Along with the fracture, there is widened medial clear space. In the normal image, this is the medial clear space. Normally, this space should be less than 4 millimeters, but over here, there is increased gap between the medial malleolus and the 
metallus. It is more than 4 millimeters. This suggests deltoid ligament tears. Another clear space to note is the tibiofibular clear space. This space is measured 1 cm above the tibial plafond. It is this space between the medial edge of the fibula and tibia. Normally, this space is between 4 and 6 mm. In this image, however, this clear space is widened. This widening suggests syndesmotic ligament tears and injuries. This image shows a fracture of the fibula. This fracture is located above the level of the syndesmosis, so it is a Weber C fracture. This is a very severe injury. Fracture dislocation is noted. Here is a normal lateral view of the left ankle. This white bone is the tibia and this is the fibula. The fracture in this image is above the level of the tibiofibular joint, so this is a Weber C fracture. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.